summarized it in a doctoral thesis and uh, now it's also summarized in this paper. Yeah. Yes. Can you uh, uh, highlight the most important conclusion in the paper? Progressive landslide analysis explains how and why it can actually happen that a long natural slope which has remained stable for centuries or even millennia can be destabilized by seemingly small <coughs> additional loads from for instance local fills, local vibratory or piling activity. The analysis also clearly explains why downhill landslides tend to spread over vast areas of more or less horizontal ground beyond the foot of the slope, showing that already before passive resistance is reached, a failure surface measuring hundreds of meters may have developed deep under the surface of the level ground. The finite difference model has been applied to a number of Scandinavian landslides and at least one in Canada. In the article three case studies are briefly discussed. Briefly speaking, the model is a finite difference approach where the downhill axial deformation due to the additional load is maintained compatible all the time with deviatory deformations in the highly shared zone near the failure surface. Software and spreadsheets are introduced as well as recent developments. Progressive failure analysis invalidates the use of classic limit equilibrium approach in long slopes with sensitive play. Mm -hmm.